In this video, we're going to take a look at the scene manager script reference and look at some of the things that can be done with the scene manager. So starting up at the top, we have a couple of variables that are available. And the first one tells us the total number of loaded or the total number of active scenes that are currently playing. You can contrast that with this, which is the total number of scenes that are available to be loaded in the build settings. So beyond those two variables, then, we have a number of methods available to us, things we can do with scene management. And in other videos, we've looked at things like load scene that allows us to load a scene either singly or additively. But we have a number of other things we can do. And a couple of use ones. First of all, get active scene, and that returns the currently loaded scene, but it assumes that only one is loaded. If you have multiple scenes loaded additively, it's going to grab the top or sort of the root of those additive scenes. If you want to get all of the currently loaded scenes, you certainly can. And the way to do that is to first grab the scene count and then to grab a get scene at. So if I have, say, five scene loaded, then I'll, I can do get scene at zero, get scene at one, get scene at two, get scene at three, get scene at four to get all of those scenes. And just to show you a brief example, this is a quick script that grabs the number of loaded scenes and then iterates through the loaded scenes. And for each index, it prints out the name of that scene. So this is how we can access all of those when we have scenes loaded additively. So beyond that, a couple of other things that are interesting are things like load scene async. And this is asynchronous loading. Typically, the way that Unity works is when you load a scene, Unity stops, loads the scene uh, in memory, and then either replaces the scene with the new one or adds it to the list of scenes. If you have a very large scene, this can be a noticeable lag. Basically, your game will pause while it loads that scene and then continue once the scene is loaded. And loading things asynchronously just allows us to load it in the background, and when it's ready, then we load that scene. Uh, this is not something we're going to specifically cover in this course, but for certain types of games, it's very useful. And once you've played around with it a little bit, it's, it's very sort of intuitive and easy to use. We also have a couple of other things um, in terms of getting scenes. Um, if we want to access scenes in our game and get information about those scenes, we can load them either by the name of the scene or by the path within our assets directory. And what I mean by accessing those scenes is that we actually get a scene management dot scene object back. And if we look inside there, we actually have a bunch of information about the scene and any scene we can get this information about. So we can ask, for instance, from a game object, hey, what scene am I a part of? And let me get information about that scene that I am a part of. And so we have information like the build index. This is the index in the build settings, whether the scene is loaded or not, the name, the path to the scene, the number of root objects in the scene, which is actually a very useful thing. And you can actually get all of the root game objects in a scene using this public function. And just to show you what that means real quick, if we pop over to Unity, the root objects are any objects without a parent. So if I start modifying my scene, I would have two root objects. Those would be the main camera and the directional light. So this is a way to just basically query information about all of our loaded scenes when we potentially have multiple scenes loaded additively in a very large game world like Grand Theft Auto, like Skyrim, like a, a giant MMORPG, those types of things. And just popping back to the script reference. Um, the last things that we have are some utility functions for actually um, doing things with scenes at runtime, for instance, creating a new blank scene, adding it to the list of loaded scenes, or merging multiple scenes, or setting which scene is marked as the active scene. Uh, we can also move things between scenes, uh, and just a, a number of other sort of utility things that are not useful until you need them, and when you need them, it's incredibly useful to be able to do. So just kind of familiar, familiarize yourself with these, look through the script reference, and just know that these exist and know that they're available to you when they solve particular problems. And that, in a nutshell, is scene management, all of the various things we have, along with scenes and all of the various information we have about scenes in Unity.